Before we start, I want to encourage you to hit the bell icon on our channel. I know people love talking about this, but we've got a real reason. We've got a huge video that we recorded in Estonia coming out on Saturday. We interviewed government officials and experts on how e-residency can help British citizens after Brexit. We'll be hosting a YouTube premiere for the episode at the weekend, and we'll be reacting in the live chat alongside you. Make sure to hit the bell icon now to be notified when the live premiere is happening. Sorry for the long plug, but it was an expensive video, so we kind of need you to see it. In this video we're going to be talking about the Stronger Towns Fund, or rather, as the media have dubbed it, May's Brexit Bribe, hence the catchy title. Anyway, alliteration's annoying, so let's get on with the actual video. On Monday, the government announced the Stronger Towns Fund. This has been a long time coming. As far back as January, there are rumours that the government was planning on announcing something similar to this. It's a £1.6 billion fund, which will be spread over six years, from 2020 to 2026. £1 billion will be allocated according to a needs-based formula, and the remaining £600 million will be up for bids from towns and local communities across the UK. So where's the money going? Well here's a full breakdown of where the money is headed. You might have noticed that none of the £1 billion already allocated is going to London, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland, and barely any money is going to the south of England. Most of the money is headed towards the Midlands and the north of England, which just so happens to be where a lot of Leave voting Labour constituencies are. This has led some people, well, let's be honest, basically everyone besides the government, to the conclusion that this fund is really a bribe to get Labour MPs in those constituencies to support May's Brexit deal. The practice of spending money in specific areas to win votes is a common thing, and it's called pork barrelling. Actually, while it's pretty common in other countries, most notably the US, it's very much frowned upon in the UK. So has the tactic worked in this occasion? Well, as you might have guessed by the title of this video, the answer is a resounding no. Not that we want to encourage bribery, but the reason why it's failed is because it's nowhere near enough money. At about £250 million a year, the money is equivalent to less than 2% of local authority spending in the UK, and just 0.05% of total government spending. This looks even worse when you consider that the government's spending in the north of England has fallen by £6 billion since 2010, according to think tank IPPR North. Gareth Snell, the Labour MP for Stoke-on-Trent Central, who had previously suggested that he might be open to voting for May's deal, noted that cuts made to Stoke-on-Trent City Council in the last four years are greater than the entire allocation for the West Midlands over an equivalent four-year period. Similarly, Lisa Nandy, the Labour MP for Wigan, another Brexit voting town, noted that there was only £40 million per year for all northwest towns, while Wigan alone had faced £134 million worth of cuts since 2010. In fact, basically all Labour MPs have renounced the fund. The other reason why it hasn't worked is because of how much it looks like a bribe. As we mentioned, no money is allocated to areas outside of England, despite the fact that some of the poorest areas in the UK are in Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland. The majority of the money is going to Brexit voting towns with Labour MPs in England, which makes it look a lot like the money isn't going to the places where it's needed most, rather the places that could help May get her deal through. The timing is a bit suspicious too. The announcement comes just eight days before her vote goes to Parliament. And given that towns won't likely see the money until 2020 at the earliest, the timing of the announcement makes it look even more like a bribe. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, pork barrelling isn't a popular practice in British politics. And because this fund looks so much like a bribe, it's made it very hard for those Labour MPs to vote for her deal without being accused of pork barrel politics. If anything, it seems like May's made it harder for them to vote for her deal. If they vote for her deal now, it looks like they've sold out, and not even for very much in return. It's not going to make them popular within the Labour Party, and it's probably not going to make them popular with their constituents either, given how insubstantial the fund is. You might even say that her Brexit bribe backfired. Did we hammer home the alliteration enough in this video? I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe. As I mentioned at the top, our Estonia video will be premiered on Saturday at 10.30am GMT. After that it will be available just on our channel as normal, but the premiere allows you to watch it live with everyone else, and we'll be in the live chat answering your questions. So hit the bell icon and follow us across all of our social networks by searching for TLDR News. And that way, you won't miss that new video or any of our other content. Okay, enough plugging for one video, I'm sorry.